The verdict is in against the man dubbed the NorCal rapist Roy Waller. Good afternoon and thank you so much for joining us. I'm Dina Kupfer. It is Wednesday, November 18th. And our top story here, the jury has found the 60-year-old guilty on all 46 counts, including kidnapping and rape, dating back to 1991. CBS 13's Marissa Perlman brings us the very latest from outside the Supreme Court with reaction from the victims. Marissa, good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. Roy Charles Waller remains stoic, often expressionless, sometimes looking down at his hands or his paper as every verdict on every single one of those charges came down this afternoon. The six-year-old was accused of attacking and sexually assaulting nine women over a 15-year period across six area counties. He was convicted on every charge. Now, jurors began deliberating mid-morning on Tuesday, just one day after the prosecution and defense delivered their closing arguments. The jury reached a verdict last night after just four hours of deliberation. Investigators say DNA technology, the same that led to the arrest and conviction of Joseph D'Angelo, the Golden State Killer, also led to Waller's arrest in 2018. Now, Waller had pleaded not guilty, denying raping any of the victims, despite police saying DNA was found at all but one of the crime scenes. Prosecutors say every assault had the same M.O., women tied to a bed with their eyes taped shut, the assaults taking place over several hours. Then the suspect would leave, stealing personal items on the way out. We spoke with his first victim, who says she was raped in 1991. She says she's been waiting for this day for almost two decades. 29 years of waiting and waiting, amazing. Great day, great day. All more to say after the sentencing. Not quite finished, we have a little bit more to go, sure. but yes, huge day, huge day. Now, throughout the trial, Waller couldn't explain the DNA connection, but maintained his in innocence. Once again, the NorCal rapist, Roy, Char Char excuse me, Roy Charles Waller, convicted on all 46 charges. He will be back here in court on December 18th for sentencing. He faces life in prison. Wow, what a big verdict. All right, thank you so much. Marissa Pullman reporting live for us in Sacramento. Thank you.